Let's talk about how to get rid of a skin abscess without taking oral antibiotics, which are not good for you. Check this out. All right, Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist and Health and Wellness Instructor for 34 years. Let's get the world healthy. If you like what I do, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. I want to get a lot of people on here healing. I have 1,200 and plus uh, videos here for people to look at lots of stuff. Well, today I want to talk about, you know, getting rid of a skin abscess uh, that you may come down with or have or something going on right now and not have to take oral antibiotics. Antibiotics, you're taking those pills, you know, they kill everything in your gut. And that go, there goes your immune system and everything. Uh, they interact with your serotonin and dopamine in your brain and everything so and they have anywhere from six to 30 side effects and if you have to take them um i'll get into that in a little bit also that's a different story you know not too long ago i was actually uh, pruning back the uh rose bushes in the backyard and we have a like a wall of rose bushes and I was trimming those back, trimming those back, and a little piece about this big fell on the lawn chair, and I didn't notice it, and I sat down, and it went right in, and I went, ah! And I didn't think too much about it right at the moment, but a couple of days later, it started getting red, and in a week, I had an abscess. Well, I went to the doctor, and the doctor, all of a sudden, you know, he he uh, gives you automatically giving you antibiotics. And then I said to myself, I'm not going to take this. Uh, and I started my own process of healing my abscess, which worked out great, totally gone now. And you can do this also. But if you have a fulminating uh, actual infection, you know where I had one on my thumb one time when I was in my 20s and it started redness starting going up my arm. <laughs> if it gets something like that, you're going to have to take antibiotics. There's nothing else. You could die. There's no doubt about that. I got to be about this big around them uh, where I sit down and it was sticking out about this much and I started putting on hot compresses on there and starting to want that thing to burst open, which is very important. My wife tells a story when she was in grade school, she had uh, one of her friends in grade school had a huge abscess on the side of her face. It was all black, like this big around and sticking out. And the teacher came home with her and started putting hot compresses on that. And she stayed in the house 24 hours, changing that all night long because she didn't want that infection to spread and maybe go to her brain or something. I mean, that's a teacher who goes above and beyond. I'm telling you, that's pure teacher love. Well, I bought some big bandages and also started using antibiotic ointment, which is you can get anywhere that has also some uh, painkiller in it. You can buy that at CVS, Walgreens, or your, your local drugstore. Anybody can do that. Also, uh, I got something called Boil Ease, which has 20% benzocaine, because this thing hurt like crazy. And this Boil Ease, you can get on Amazon. You might have it at your local uh, pharmacy also. And this helps to get rid of the pain, for sure. <laughs> then I started using a cold therapy laser and using it five minutes, once or twice a day and putting it right on the spot where the, the you know, abscess was, and amazing results. Just started seeing things heal up really fast. And there are some that are very inexpensive. I've talked about, I've talked about cold ther therapy lasers multiple times. I also started using my PEMF machine and putting that over the top of the, the abscess and using that for about 15, 20 minutes. And uh, that really did a great job. And uh, there's a lot of, you know, I have studies down below about lasers and also PEMF 
and they do actually heal tissues. There's no doubt about that. And even with the first session of the laser and the PEMF, I saw amazing results. And I've talked about PEMF multiple times here, and I really have seen amazing changes. You know, if I hurt my shoulder working out, the recovery is amazingly fast. Any kind of tissue damage, it really does a great job. Well, I kept doing this regimen, putting on the antibiotic ointment and the boilies and also doing the cold laser therapy and also the PEMF machine. And very quickly, it started to resolve and, and heal. And I was feeling better. I couldn't even sit down. It was so terrible. But that abscess needs to open up and start draining. And that's really important. It, it, before it started draining, I started to not feeling very well because those toxins started getting out there. Uh, but eventually it did burst open and all those, you know, all that pus and everything started coming out and it started healing up really fast after that. And I have even used this process on our dogs. It works. There's no doubt about it. Cold laser therapy and also PEMF works on animals. They even use it on racehorses and it's amazing bodies want to heal it automatically is going to start healing that area and if we give it half a chance uh, we can make that abscess totally go away just like I am now and I'm totally healed and feeling great so there you have it you can uh, treat successfully an abscess and make it heal up completely without using oral antibiotics this takes time. You know, if you're impatient, uh, you're probably going to end up doing the antibiotics. Uh, I have a lot of patients and I don't like antibiotics because they kill everything in your gut, for sure. If you have something going on, give me a call at 831-869-9119. 831 869 -9119. If you have any kind of problem, if you have an abscess and maybe you're just not feeling good, uh, maybe I have a man on a CPAP machine right now, uh, all kinds of different things. People who have allergies, um, gastric reflux, all kinds of things. 831-869-9119. Also, remember God, remember I love you. And some of the things I see in advertising now are totally demeaning to women. And I think that is atrocity. And we need to revere our women as, as our mothers and our, you know, our wives and our children. And uh, we need to keep our children in their innocence. And I think it's important to, when you see something that doesn't look right and you wouldn't want your child to be looking at it, you need to speak up. I love you.